Capricorn. I love you, Caps. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Please do subscribe to my channel and help the channel grow. Uh, if you really love this video, like it and share it on all different kinds of social media platforms. This is not a horoscope. It is an energy reading. I use oracle cards to access the energies for these specific zodiac signs. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, but it's also for Capricorn, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, Venus, wherever Capricorn energy influences your natal chart you can apply these energies for the next week or so from whenever you see this video i used to mark dates on my videos i stopped doing it when i started getting comments from people who uh who were watching videos that i made in back in the summer and i realized that they could be pertinent whenever people discover them so um i will always say when the video is recorded but the video happens when you need it right but the way to know that you'll receive these videos, because I upload new ones every single week, if you want them fresh off the press, please do subscribe to the channel and also click that bell so you know when the videos go live. You know exactly when they get uploaded. Okay, so know that this is the Oracle card spread. I do a full Oracle card spread, but Capricorn, I also do an extended reading always of tarot to go deeper in, get a personal type reading more and articulate the messages and get more details. I'll do a full tarot card spread. That link is in the description box below and it includes your romance reading as well. So let's get into this. There will be commercials during this, expect them. There will be at most three, just like when we were kids and we used to watch our, all our favorite sitcoms, commercial breaks don't kill you, so thank you for your patience. All right, Capricorn, all right, Capricorn, information for the week, Capricorn. Okay, we have your crowning energy. Time for a beginner mind. This is Aquarius energy. It's defensive energy and it's kind of a bristly kind of, it's a bristly confidence. It's a confidence where you want to put it out there and let people know that you know your worth and you don't mind walking into a room, uh, letting people know that you're, you're ready to not take any BS. And then time to collaborate, which is a really interesting contrast. And I do think that what these two cards coming out together means is that there's conflict here. There's a want and a desire to be with somebody. And according to your romantic tarot reading, bing, I'll put that overhead, there is a coming together, there is romantic potential. But Capricorn, this is a conflict of interest. This is, a, this is a something inside of you, basically clashing and grinding. You want to be with somebody, you want to be together, you want to work as a team, but there is a little bit of a conflict. Maybe you're defensive, maybe you're upset, um, maybe you've been hurt too much in the past. Um, you have found a strong sense of self and it's kind of new, you've just started to really love being who you are, being um, with yourself, but simultaneously, maybe you've been lonely too long and you do want to collect, you do want connection, but at the same time, there's this sense of, um, but I like things the way that I like them and I like being with me and I like being in control and only having to consult myself. So this could go not just for romantic relationships, partnerships as well, a conflict of interest when it comes to having to work as a team at work, having to, um, take some sort of authority figure or work underneath some sort of authority figure that you're clashing with because maybe you feel like you could do it better. <laughs> There's just this energy of... The need to work in collaboration or the desire to work in collaboration where clashing with the, um, clashing with this almost a little too evil, like, um, almost defensive sense of self. Um, it could also mean that you're trying to pretend or still trying to make yourself believe that a relationship is not what you want or that you don't want to, or that you, you don't want to, or you're not ready specifically, you're not ready to start working with other people. That's too much. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep uh, shuffling. Um, there's just this conflict of having to work with other people or wanting to work with other people. And yet at the same time, not knowing how to, you know, reel yourself in and be 
be collaborative or be the type of person that you need to be in order to make collaborations work because something makes you not ready for it. Something makes you not want it. It's a conflict. So I see you struggling to resolve that issue. Capricorn, 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 Capricorn energy, please. I suggest you guys that you always watch your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. If you really want the full perspective of um, what you'll be experiencing for each week or each month, always sit on your sun, moon, and rising sign. And if you're particularly interested in your love life, definitely figure out your Venus sign and watch your Mercury, Venus, and moon sign reading as well. That's just a little tip. I know. Oh, here we go. It's coming out now. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. If you are interested, I also do a daily reading every single day, Monday through Friday, uh, weekdays on Instagram. I'd love to have you join me. You can find me at born underscore without underscore boundaries on Instagram. Bring your ideas to life. You have... Hmm. You have ideas. You know, In other words, you know exactly the way that you want things. And for me, this is very entrepreneurial energy. This is energy that uh, you do have the energy to be able to manifest things just the way that you want them, Capricorn, or by your own rules, manifesting them as the boss. And yet, for some reason, there's this conflict of not wanting to be the boss of your own enterprise. Let's keep reading. Um... Be at home. You're away from home. You're journeying away. Maybe you're seeing things from a different perspective. So this could be <clears throat> a mental journey of sorts, making a decision to go away from where you're comfortable. This is about um, moving away from your heart space. So it could be moving. Up, it could be having emotionally removed yourself from your heart space, which is why there's that conflict of being defensive against a collaboration of some sort, because that kind of that kind of um, relationship in the past has hurt you or harmed you it's left you feeling scarred in some way and so there's been an, an emotional separation from your heart space there could be an actual physical separation from your heart space you could be at a distance from your home and your family and friends being surrounded by a lot of new ideas and possibilities um, and opportunities that make you uncomfortable while simultaneously inspiring you once again, there is a conflict between two sides of you. You want the comfort of home. You want the comfort of familiarity, but simultaneously you want something new. So it's like you're verging on, yes, I know that I have to move into a different territory, but you're not necessarily comfortable, not with the concept. I think with the concept, you, you are comfortable with the actual execution you're not comfortable. And that's actually okay, Capricorn, because especially during a Mercury retrograde, this is the time to just take in information and let yourself be inspired and think it over and work it over in your head and give yourself time. So I know you are, are a go-getter and you like to make decisions and move things forward, but Capricorn, you don't have to make any decisions now. In fact, I would hold on to your decision-making until mid-March. Don't worry about making a commitment right now just make a commitment to allowing yourself to entertain different possibilities um here we have yeah oh interesting yep there you go know your worth listen if it stinks it stinks don't try to make a skunk smell like a rose this is an energy of pretending of trying to cover up or trying to cover up or not acknowledging the discomfort or whatever's making you uncomfortable or whatever is unpleasant that's happening in your life right now. In other words, these wonky feelings of yours, these feelings of displacement, these feelings of not belonging. It's like, does a skunk belong in the flowers? <laughs> Guess what? Yeah, they do. Why can't a skunk, remember the scene from Bambi? Why can't a skunk hang out in the flowers? It doesn't matter that it's a contrast. What matters is the skunk has as much right to enjoy the flowers as anybody else. Know that first, first and foremost, 
settle on a sense of comfort with who you are instead of feeling so awkward and 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 undeserving of uh where you currently are you maybe you are a fish out of water but that just makes you unique don't worry about being a fish out of water and try focus right right now especially for this week on um not the differences that are around you but what's so beautiful around you what makes you happy about what's around you if you're in a different location you may be in it may be weird to you but weird can be wonderful just because it's interesting you understand um if you're conflicting with somebody that you're trying to work with or you've met met new somebody new but they're not your norm and you're not sure this is just understanding that differences actually conflicts things that things that clash could also tend to make things fun make things interesting or give you new opportunities for growth you do belong wherever you are and if you're feeling out of sorts then make it temporary and you can always go home ultimately though bottom line know who you are and know that you're valuable and don't try to be something else to fit in don't even consider changing yourself not for a relationship not for like that's the that's that could be the, this this uh with the crowning energy that could be um the meaning of these cards as well is is simply not feeling like you belong feeling like you have to defend yourself feeling like you're the outcast right feeling yeah just just feeling like an outcast um but this is your central energy it's sagittarius energy um and it is look at the bigger picture and improvise don't try to look too far ahead that's your central energy that's what's going to stabilize you this week is not looking far ahead just thinking in this moment right here right now be in the space right in front of you enjoy it for what it is and let it go and let me say this you don't have to try to write it down or remember it because if it's something that makes an impression on you you don't have to write it down it will come back to you you will remember it capricorn this is your time to just roll with life and and be very malleable fox energy is an energy of malleability which is not usually your energy but the truth is capricorns think of the goat right think of the goats climbing those those ridges those cliffs it almost looks like they're gonna die and get eaten alive by the the leopard that's chasing them but somehow they can literally scale a vertical preface um that a, a vertical cliff face nobody else can see these footholds but these little goats can in true goat fashion improvise take and use what you have you can climb and scale the most impossible almost stop sign almost like flat out you can't get through this wall i may not be able to get through it but i can scale it because that's what capricorns have as their energy you can get through anything just be willing to look at what's in front of you step by step and step by step take your time and find the way to the next step just one at a time this is not a time or not a week that you have to lay groundwork for the future or make plans for the rest of the year this is actually time to just explore and allow new things to let to make allow new things in as possible considerations uh-huh overcome any obstacle but this is upside down so there is a feeling of you being stuck there is a compromised sense of self this is taurus energy but it's it's reverted so you could be having some problems with financial issues um not having the resources that you used to have or not having access to um or feeling distanced from resources that you used to have if it was from a home space or a family unit that you're now at a distance from feeling kind of stuck feeling kind of heavy feeling kind of maybe even lethargic a sense of not being able to move which could actually also make you vulnerable and therefore more defensive which is where the bristliness comes from um but this is just a sense of listen when you're lying on your back you can see the world from a different perspective use this time as a time of absorption in other words don't think about moving anywhere if you don't think about moving anywhere and you don't make that a requirement or a necessity then you can just sit and lie back and actually make progress by taking in information and not having to move very far at all 
Be fearless and bold. So this is Aries energy and it's really, really interesting because we have Mars in your sign. So um, that can infuse you with a strong sense of self, that can infuse you with a strong sense of purpose. And it could also be with sort of like burning out your engines, especially if you feel suspended on blocks. Like, you know, think of a car without the wheels suspended on blocks or, or up on the lift. It's like, if you're revving the engine, it can't go anywhere. It could be making you feel this way. It could be you want to, you want to win, you want to do things, you want to conquer, but simultaneously you don't have the resources to do them. And those two things are clashing and making you feel like you're a loser, making you feel like you're losing and not succeeding. But that's not true. Aries is also, remember, the energy of loving who you are and knowing yourself and learning about yourself. And even though this is a particularly introspective time, because hello, we're in Pisces season, use it to learn about yourself and respect yourself and learn to appreciate yourself. Even when things aren't ideal and you can't line things up in the way that you want them to, doesn't matter. What does this is discomfort teach you about yourself? And how does confronting this discomfort actually enable your self-esteem instead of degrade it. Pisces, there's some strong Piscean energy coming out. And I think it's because there's a contradiction with the Pisces season. It's interesting because um, there, the, the whole reading is crowned by a contradiction. This is Aquarian energy, time for an open mind, things that are just new, just starting out, but simultaneously you're defensive. Um, maybe because, um, maybe because you're, you know, you're, because things are new and you don't like things bum rushing you well guess what this is a great time capricorn to take things slow it's a great it's a great time to just sort of swim around and get yourself to feel comfortable in your emotions and what you're feeling piscean energy you could be dealing with a pisces you could be dealing with an aries um you could be dealing with many signs i wouldn't get hung up on the signs i would get hung up on the energies of where life is taking you. This energy is asking you to see things in a different way. This energy is asking you to open your mind and not do the same things that you've done before to draw out that creative energy inside of you that can actually manifest wonderful things that you never ever considered before. If you're feeling pressured right now, if you're in an uncomfortable circumstance, it's only, almost because the universe is asking you to do things differently, to learn things differently. That's uncomfortable for you. They get it. We know it, but it's a challenge to make you stronger. That's always what every single time I come I come across an instance like that in my life. I know it's because the universe wants to sort of like be my personal trainer and, and strengthen muscles that in those I'm not using, but that I'm going to need. Um, clear out the clutter. It's time to let go of old ways. It's time to get rid of maybe you're, maybe you're decluttering your actual house. Maybe you're selling your actual house. There's letting go of stuff that is m like a, a, making your life heavy, making you too heavy right now, Capricorn. There's a lot you can let go of. I know you like to accumulate things, sometimes even hoard things. I know you like to hold on to, especially material possessions, but material possessions is not where it's at right now. In fact, clearing out, getting rid of, maybe even selling those material possessions is exactly what you need to enable yourself to take the leaps and bounds that... Um, you're being asked to take that's actually going to lead you to progress. Uh, that is your grounding energy. Also grounding your energy is let it shine. This is um, finding your voice and finding your like true self uh, rising out of the ashes. This is Scorpio energy. So you're rising out of the ashes and you're letting go of, you're letting things die and transform. That's what these cards mean. This is the card of transformation. It's a scorpionic energy of literally death back into life, life and rebirth. Think of the Phoenix energy. So this is becoming something new or starting a new phase in your life where you're not attached to the same things that you used to because you're not the same person that you used to be. So of course, yeah, you know, it's not comfortable in that cocoon. We get it. It, it makes sense. You feel crowded. You're disassembling to reassemble. But this is your cocoon period. And then set healthy boundaries, armadillo. This is uh, boundaries that are a little bit too heavy or it seems boundaries that have not been set at all. A sense of really interesting because you usually don't have problems setting boundaries at all. But 
this is the thing. Your boundaries are coming down because you're changing. And I think that's really the conflict here is that you know that that's right or you know that that's good or necessary, but simultaneously, Capricorn, you feel vulnerable. And it's that vulnerability that's making you want to hang on to things and to not let go. This is the time for letting go. This is the time for least resistance. This is the time to declutter your space, your life, your heart, your soul. Really allow yourself to change. Um, the one thing that will not allow this to be a very productive period is if you um, allow that vulnerability, like if you allow that, if you allow that vulnerability to shut you down it will cut off all the potential for the learning and experiences that you're being offered right now. So don't do that. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Just know this. No, I feel vulnerable right now. I do. And, and when you feel that, when you acknowledge it, think check, that's the energies that's going on right now. I'm supposed to feel vulnerable right now. So if you feel vulnerable right now, you're in the right place. You're in the right place. You may feel like somebody's going to drop you or start their life off over without you. You may feel like you're about to be let go of your job or dumped by your significant other. Changes are in the air. Um, I will definitely go into more detail, especially with tarot, to see if that's coming up. But ultimately, you are a very intuitive creature. If you feel those things coming simultaneously, I would say, get yourself into a space where you're just like, whatever comes is coming for a reason and accepting it is literally finding a way to control it accepting your vulnerability and accepting the fact that you're not necessarily the one that has the final say is actually finding a way to control the energy because this energy now is asking you to just go with the flow and be comfortable with what comes so that is the only way you can control this energy is by allowing yourself to be vulnerable for a while hold on I'm going to flip the camera angle. We can review the cards. Overall, a very difficult week for you only because of the vulnerability factor. You see, both things that would normally help get you through, you don't have anymore. Resources and your thick skin. Something has dismantled your thick skin as something has depleted your resources. So those two things that you manage very, very well are now not available to you. Why? You're being asked to look at things in a different way. You're being asked to manage. You're being asked to be creative and inventive. And I said this to my son. And he's not a Capricorn. He's a Cancerian, actually. Um, I said this to him. I said, stop looking at the worst, at the, at the best case scenario. Stop, um, stop hoping for or saying you'll do things when. Take an inventory of what you have in front of you and find the opportunities. Be creative with how you use the resources that you have. And don't leave anything off the table, including things that you might want to hold on to. This is not a time for holding on. This is literally a time to say to the universe, I'm open. Whatever you want me to let go of and release is on the table. And I trust you. Like literally let them take the wheel. That's the only, that's the best way to make it through this period, this energetic period unscathed. So I'm going to go and dig into exactly what's coming um, and how this will pan out. We'll go over and do a full tarot card spread. I hope that you join me. We'll also pull your romantic cards. If you're looking for the link, it's in the description box below and it's also in the comment section. Capricorn, thanks guys. I will see you over there.